hello welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna talk to you about metal and the plugins of skybox if you don't know what that is it's for it's a special uh, package of plugins that you can use in After Effects and Premiere Pro to 360 video if you don't know what 360 video is it's a uh, video that you can see all around and uh, if you don't care about that I'm gonna leave you some cat videos so you can look at it so in the near future Adobe will give you the skybox plugins natively that is really cool let me just adjust Shit. well then if you are an Adobe subscriber you can get the skybox plugins now in the description i leave you a link to metal website explaining how you can get the plugins right now so what you can do with these plugins it's quite simple you can use these plugins to add 2d or 3d elements like text or logos or whatever you can correct the 3d sphere and even in after effects you can use the camera tracking of after effects to stabilize the footage hello everyone i think i have to show you on action the plugins so i have premiere pro open here and um, a curious thing these plugins come with the skybox vr window this is compatible with your if you have a headset like uh, Oculus Rift or something like that even a Trainers VR server that you can use with your smartphone it works also so you have the video here playing uh, of the 360 instead of using this awkward thing on Premiere Pro that you... Uh, I don't like it so this thing it's a really cool window so you can stream directly to your headset okay so I have two images here uh, one of them it's uh, from a friend of mine that is playing a piano and the other one was me walking through the woods in the Azores so one of the my favorites plugin it's the skybox rotate sphere so you just click and drag and you have here the tilt the pan and the roll so you can correct some minor some minor position of the sphere of the angle of the 360 for example you can rotate the z-axis so the camera it's sideways if it was sideways you could correct it so this is a really hard effect to do without this plugin so I'm gonna just delete it if you add just a normal camera blur or glossing blur on the footage and I just gonna pump this up you see that the image is blur but when you check out the points you have this harsh line here this blur are not able to work on 360 video as you can see this is um, this is not good so that's why some stuff actually is in the skybox um, here for example I'm gonna delete this blur over here and I'm gonna add this skybox blur if I add it and then I push it you see that the image is blur it's more blurred down here and up here because it's necessary to be uh, correct blurriness everywhere so you you can see that the blur are correct now one of the things that um, that annoys a lot uh, 360 videos is the transition between videos so for example if I use the normal edge wipe uh, whatever I gonna just click and drag on it and you see that it does this well this thing okay so I gonna check it on the VR and it has this awkward curve 
thing here yeah, that's not really good so I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna add for example the iris wipe from skybox and you see that actually the transition goes like this and uh, but the thing is when you check this in uh, in the view it's actually correctly done it's really well done there we go okay so now I want to add some to the elements for example some text that I have here and a logo on the bottom of the sphere if I go here I want to put my logo down here so let's go up and you can see that the text it's not right it's distorted in a awkward way so let's crack this so we have here a skybox project 2d just put it and it's done let, let's check out here you see that the text it's well put it a bit of it's it's a bit small I want to have it bigger so I go on a put it a little bit bigger at this big so you see that the text has a small curve it's to compensate to the 360 projection perfect now my logo you did saw this logo in the intro of this video so I want to put it down here same thing just select it click and drag the skybox project 2d it's in the right place it's not in the right place sorry I want to put it down so I want to put it 90 degrees down like so and I fit and I if I check out here up down here the logo it's here there you go how easy was that I don't know why it has this uh, blur line by default so if you want to remove the feather you just drag it to zero so it's a little bit awkward why it has the feather always at 10 but well okay see how easy that was how easy is this so let's go to After Effects so I have here an image on After Effects of some hot springs I'm using the selfie stick here so the image moves a bit I'm gonna check out here the effects and presets you see that you have all the stuff that you did find in Premiere Pro but this is After Effects you have a lot of other stuff so I'm gonna close this we're gonna open the skybox composer here and give me this window I don't like this window here I just gonna attach it here I like it here okay and I can do a 3d edit on this thing okay so let's press the button 3d edit and I select my I select my project here and add a 3d edit and with some black magic skybox did a lot of stuff here so I have my 3d viewer here in the sphere if I see I have a camera here if I press C I can navigate in the tree in the 3d in the 360 video and uh, and now I'm gonna reset this and now for example I can add like a new solid okay like I'm gonna add a red solid just just for the example here and uh, convert it to 3d and I'm gonna push it back and down over here and actually I'm gonna rotate it also like so even even far away go go far away like so and as it is in a 3d space if I rotate it okay you can see that it's it's in place so 
if I go open output open output and render up you can see that that 3d element it's right in place it's quite simple okay it's quite simple you can add more 3d uh, stuff or 2d stuff if you want you can add it in the 3d space that's the how easy it gets so we're gonna go back to the 3d edit and I'm gonna delete this uh, red solid here and I'm gonna reset the camera position and I'm gonna show you how to stabilize this uh, this video if you can see the image moves around okay it's not it's not really the most eh, it's not good okay so let's go to properties and apply After Effects 3D camera tracking so it is tracking okay so it is done you can now create a camera okay and you have this dot to attach 3D stuff on this so that is really crazy you can do crazy things with the skybox and this option here but what i want to do is stabilize footage so i can select here and click stabilize footage and with some black magic again you have a 3d uh, 360 video stab stabilization made here so if i gonna open the output render here and check the footage it's much smoother so in the near future I would like to see three things so first of all these plugins should be available on Photoshop to 360 phot photography so you can add text elements your logo on the bottom like uh, you see a lot and stuff like that S second thing image stabilization on Premiere Pro if you recall um, warp stabilization only existed on After Effects then they bridge it over Premiere Pro and it is a click and drag plugin if you can do that Adobe would be awesome and the last thing it is 360 camera tracking so you can have a precise tracking of a camera movement like that on a 360 footage that would be awesome okay it's a dead it's a dead end so you must imagine that I am doing some 360 projects and you are right I have a couple of uh, ideas actually one of them I did already shoot I am in editing stuff now and will be eventually available on this YouTube channel so subscribe if you want to see my first 360 project and about this project what I'm really excited is that it was shoot at the Azores, at my home place.